Hello everyone, welcome back to Nigerian View. So guys, let's talk about the confraternity war that is currently going on in Delta State in the city of Wari, right there in Udo Road. This clash is between Supreme Area Confraternity and Supreme Vikings Confraternity and it has led to the bringing down of two promising young men with a bright future. So in this video, we are going to be talking about how this confraternity was started and we will talk about the people that were brought down and how they were brought down. So before I get into it, I quickly want to tell you guys about the incident that happened in Oguashuku right there in Delta State. And this incident happened last week. And the reason I quickly want to insert this into this very video is for the people that always join one confraternity, the next thing they move to another confraternity. And this incident happened between jurists and Vikings right there in Oguashuku. A young man who is said to be a member of jurist decided that he was tired of being a jurist, that he wanted to become a Vikings. So he went to meet the Vikings members, they accepted him, he became a member of Vikings. And this phenomenon is popularly known as cross carpeting. So the young man cross carpeted from jurist to Vikings. Now the members of jurist in Oguashuku became very angry and they started looking for the young man in order to bring him down because apparently this happens to be a crime when you are a confraternity member. So they were able to find the young man in one of these days inside last week and immediately the young man saw them, he ran for his life, they chased him, fired at him, boom 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 and the young man was so lucky that the bullet that they fired hit him in the yash. So they shot him in his yash but he was able to escape and now it seems like the members of Vikings in Oguashuku are angry at members of jurists. So I really don't know how this is going to be settled. In case you live there, you should look out for what is going on. And information also reaching me that members of Black Ass have also clashed with Vikings right there in Oguashuku. So just be careful if you are a member of either of these confraternities that I have mentioned. And all the videos of the event that I am going to talk about in this video is going to be posted on my telegram and also on my whatsapp status later in the day so if you are not on my telegram i will leave the link in the comment section so you can click the link to join so without wasting any of your time let's dive into the video so it is said that udu road right there in worry delta state was peaceful until this young man that you are currently seeing on your screen was brought down last week this young man is popularly known as Commissioner and he is a very popular member of AA. The young man is said to have been brought down by another young man who is a member of Vikings. And the shocking part of this whole story is that the Vikings member that brought down Commissioner is a family member of Commissioner. It is said that the two young men are related and that particular Vikings member happens to be a cousin to commissioner according to the way it was explained now it is said that the entire problem started from money issue and they decided to settle it now commissioner had went to the place where they want to settle it and the matter escalated again and the vikings member is said to have used a knife to stab commissioner several times all over his body and before you knew what was happening the young man by the name of commissioner was unconscious a lot of people tried to save his life to take him to the hospital and there were no available transport to take commissioner to the hospital so what happened was that they tried to put him okada it wasn't very convenient and they decided to transfer him into keke so while commissioner was inside the keke that is when the young man went down now the problem with this whole thing is that commissioner is someone that everybody loves right there in Udu Road. The way people talk about him, the young man was a nice man. Now when this incident happened last week, I only posted a quick update. I didn't make any YouTube video about it because I was thinking that they are going to resolve this. I didn't really know that it's going to lead to a full-blown confraternity war and the reason for this is because they knew the person that did it and they also know that the person is his family member and this started because of money. So I was thinking maybe 
this is going to resolve but i posted a quick update for envy family members so that they won't go to that particular area and start walking anyhow up and down i really cannot pronounce the name of the community so i am going to put the spelling right here on the screen so the people that know the community will know what i am talking about so i was thinking that it's going to be settled apparently the members of aya did not allow it slide so the aya hit squad were rolling in the streets of Odu. they were looking for members of vikings they couldn't find members of vikings so some of the area members that have a lot of money decided to put more pressure on the rolling squad of area so that they will be able to do something as a retaliation for commissioner so they decided to place 50 000 50k on the head of any vikings member that is being brought down now the area member had announced in the morning of two days ago that they are going to pay any area member who is able to bring down any member of vikings and the money that they had promised is 50k for each person that is being brought down and immediately they announced that in the evening of it this young man that you are currently seeing on your screen was brought down that is two days ago now this young man is by the name of john and he is also a popular member of vikings he was brought down two nights ago by some young men who are said to be members of AA. Now another problem with this situation is that John is someone that everybody also loves. He is a nice guy and he seems to be very friendly to a lot of people. As a matter of fact, the two young men that he said to have been brought down, they are friendly and people like them a lot. Not only that, immediately the father of John heard that his son has been brought down the young man collapsed and before they took the young man to the hospital he had a heart attack and the young man passed on the young man is no more just because he heard that his son has been brought down in a confraternity fight now the family of john has lost two men just within 24 hours so like i said before the video of the vikings member that was shot in the yansh by members of jurist and the video of commissioner when his friends were trying to save him and also a very graphic picture of john after he was brought down is going to be posted on the nv family telegram so if you are not on the telegram i will leave a link in the comment section below click the link and it will take you directly to the telegram and you have to wait for me to give you access to see the things that are going on i will also be posting it on the nv family whatsapp status for you guys to also see for yourselves i have to tell you guys the truth whenever i have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with anyone who is a confraternity member what they always tell me is that confraternity wasn't created to bring each other down it was created to serve humanity i keep saying if the members of confraternity can just practice a little bit of what it was really created let's say half of it 60 percent there won't be any confraternity killings because they all will be focused on trying to make the community better so is it right to say that the confraternity members that are fighting bringing each other down they don't know the constitution of what they belong to or they don't have anyone that should tell them that they are doing the wrong thing so this whole thing is kind of surprising to me and i really hope that the people in udu road can come together and try to make peace because from what i am hearing the members of vikings is now pissed about the entire thing i don't understand how family members will have problem and someone go and bring down his cousin then other people that are not even in the family start running for their lives just because they belong to the same confraternity this is why i keep telling people to not join any group because it poses more danger to your life than what you intended to use it for anyway you are watching nigerian view